Is your faith is tested? Is your offering tested? Is, is it your marriage is tested? Is it your life is tested? Is it your children are tested? Is it your wife or husband is tested? Are you tested really? God tested you. God trained you. God look at you. God tried to spoken to you. What is the history? What history do you have? What life history do you have? Are you living from your born until today? You never hear the word of God? Oh, sorry. You never hear the voice of God? So many people, they say, God never has spoken to me. But God is speaking every Sunday. Amen. God is speaking every Thursday. Amen. God is speaking every day. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is God himself. Hallelujah. Amen. I say the word of God is God himself. Amen. Tell for never, the word of God is God himself. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, sometimes God is speaking through our neighbor. We don't understand. Sometimes God is speak through our neighbor. We take us as, as, as our neighbor. If we understood when somebody is speaking, we'll catch something. We'll quote something. That if you, yesterday night, my daughter Shalom was a preacher in our house. She touched, she challenged me. She preached so many times, but she never preached like yesterday. She challenged me. I just stood and checked myself. I've seen myself when she's preaching. Where I am, how I am, what am I doing? Where is my mistake? Where is my right things? Am I doing the right things? Am I doing the mistake? Where I am? Let me tell you three things from what she preached me. What she preached us. The first thing she says, when you are driving a car, your car must be on a driving line. She says that your car must be on the road where the road allowed you. If you try to go out the road which doesn't allow you, when you are driving high speed, expect something. She says, maybe the car is going to scroll. Maybe the car is going to be in accident. Maybe the car is not going to give you the comfortability what you are expecting. She says, when it's coming out from the yellow line, something is not normal. How could you are going to expect from 11 years old when she is telling you about car? She never driven. She's just watching. She never drives. She's driving. Somebody's driving, but she is watching. Watch out your life. Amen. Watch out the word of God. Amen. Watch out your road on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Watch out in Christ Jesus your life. Amen. Let's watch out. The second thing is what she says. It's amazing. The second thing, that is the first thing what she was speaking. The second thing she says, pride, about, she speaks about the pride. She says, who we are to pride something when we have. She says, we are nothing. We don't know any time, which time we are going to die. We don't have any calendar. She says, we don't know which time also we are going to do this. Because the calendar doesn't tell us. We don't know if school is going to be closed. Last time, we was expecting, she says, this time it's closed. But the corona closed, shut down, without a schedule, without calendar. She says, we must understand the given time, she says. We must not pride because of the car what we have. We must not pride because of what money we have. We must not pride because of what house we have, she says. Can you imagine that? This time around, she have opportunity to pride. But she was teaching us not to pride. Amen. I have to tell her. She must not tell me. But she is telling us. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it God is speaking or Shalom is speaking? Hey. God. Take us, God is speaking. 
Devil cannot speak to you this. No. Hello? No. Devil cannot teach you this. No. What he teach you? Pride. Boast. Look at you. How great you are. How big you are. You are this. That is the way how we are going to lose. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The third thing is what she teaches us. She teaches us about the jealousy. How she knew about jealousy? She's 11 years. But she encountering in her school, as I know. She was encountering. She says, jealousy is a needle which syringed you and killed you. When you go to the clinic or hospital, when you are sick, doesn't matter which needle you are going to, you cannot choose, the needle will choose you. 